Did you know that there is a payment system that makes it cheap, fair and simple for buyers in Singapore to do business with international sellers? Keep watching to learn more. <coughs> do I need to powder my nose or something? Good, do I look good? Bills and God. Okay, hi guys and welcome to today's video. I hope you are all in good health and positive spirit always. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Kairi Johari, better known as Pak Jofe, The Chris Collector from Singapore and you are watching The Chris Collector Show. If you want to find out more about me and what this channel is all about, check out this channel's intro video right here. It is Sunday again. The past few Sundays, I have been showcasing some items from my collection However, today I would like to do something different. Today I will not be showcasing any items from my collections. Oh my God. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Yes, I know it is a bit of a disappointment for some of you, but hey, if you have stayed on up to this point, I am sure you are interested to listen to what I have to share today. Today, I would like to share with you a service that I personally believe will solve most of your problems when transacting with private collectors and dealers internationally. Ever so often, I will receive offers of sale of Chris and related items in private. I will not deny that sometimes there are interesting items that interest me, however, Many a times, I have to decline the offer. Reason being that an agreement to the payment option could not be concluded. Now, when it comes to buying and selling of crisis, let's not deny that the best specimen examples, most of the time, comes from private collections. When the time comes for a new custodian, two things usually happens. Either it gets managed by a dealer or surviving members attempt to sell off those items on their own. For an established dealer, usually they would already have a digital storefront with an e-commerce friendly checkout system offering various payment options. However, what about dealings involving uh, sellers on a private basis? Meaning they are not an established business and unlikely do they have any formal digital storefront. This also applies to sellers from the proverbial cottage industries. They are limited to the more traditional cash and carry checkout approach. Now, this would not be a problem if the transaction is done locally. For international dealings, on the other hand, remittance services like Telegraphic transfers or international wire transfers are the next best option to complete the transaction. However, for these alternative options, it requires the buyer having to make a trip down to the bank or remittance office in person just to perform the transaction. To add on to this inconvenience, there's also the additional transfer fees incurred, which can be quite significant. Now, before you folks start flooding my inbox just yet, fair warning, if you are a seller from Singapore and you are offering a Chris or any kind of uh, edge weapons for sale to me, I will be asking for your license to deal in arms. If you do not have this license, then I am sorry, I will straight up decline your offer. Watch my earlier video, A Beginner's Guide to Starting a Chris Collection in Singapore for the reasons why. Now, to international private sellers, listen closely. Let's say there are no issues with the product quality, reliability, and trustworthiness of the seller. Say, I have decided to proceed with the purchase. The following are factors that ultimately decides if I will complete the transaction or not. Number one, product price. Obviously, the product must be reasonably priced to match its quality and condition. Number two, the additional costs on top of the base price 
when it comes to creases, I will be expecting to incur these additional costs like shipping, import permit, goods and services tax, and last but not least is of course the additional transfer fee involved when transferring the payment. The third and the most important factor is payment convenience. I want to be able to make my payment safely and conveniently from the comfort of wherever I am at. I am not going to inconvenience myself to head out to the bank or remittance office. Likewise, I am sure you sellers also want a safe and convenient way of receiving your payment. For local Singapore transactions, internet banking transfer is the most convenient way to go. No issues here. But how do we make a transfer to sellers based overseas that is safe, fast, reliable, and cheap? Let me introduce you to WISE. Now, before I share further, I would like to acknowledge and give a shout out to one of my ardent fan and friend, Mr. Ricardo Suarez from Brazil, who recently shared with me this fantastic payment option for transacting internationally. This led me to research this payment merchant and I discovered that this is a very useful alternative for transacting internationally, all from the convenience of your mobile device. I was so impressed that not only have I signed up for this service myself, I decided to do a video as well to share and encourage more signups to this payment merchant. What is WISE? WISE was launched back in 2011 as Transfer WISE with the mission of making international money transfers cheap, fair and simple. Fast forward to today, they have rebranded themselves as WISE and their services are available to any residents of every listed country on this planet. If you are from Singapore like me, WISE is licensed by our Monetary Authority of Singapore as a major payment institution under our Payment Services Act of 2019, which means WISE is subject to stringent audits and checks by our Monetary Authority of Singapore. Hence, the assurance of integrity of their fiscal system. Regulations aside, WISE offers the lowest transfer fee. For example, say you are sending Indonesian rupiah to an ampu in Indonesia for a commission of a craze. Any other remittance service, you will incur an additional in transfer fees. Whereas with WISE, you save Singapore dollars. And all this can be conveniently done from the comfort of your mobile device. How about Malaysian Ringgit? Reference to this table here, the highest service fee will be from Telex transfer via the bank at an additional 40 Singapore dollars. Alternative remittance services in Singapore dollars. With WISE, only about 6 Singapore dollars. So you do your math. An additional bonus to sweeten the deal. If you are from Singapore, you also have the option to apply for a WISE Visa card. This card allows you to spend your money in your WISE account. What this means, aside from sending money to overseas recipients, you can also receive payments from overseas. This works wonders for small businesses as well. Oh, and yes, when you open a WISE account, once your personal account has been successfully created, you can open a business account as well, if you have a valid registered business here in Singapore. Just like the personal account, terms and conditions apply. If I have piqued your interest, you can find out more by clicking the link here. Or you can look for it in the show notes below. But before you do that, here is a quick declaration. This link is an affiliate link, meaning if you were to sign up for a WISE account, I will be receiving a small commission payment. Of course, any commission payments uh, received will be diverted to the management and upkeeping of this channel. So 
If you are a real fan of this channel, you can show your support by signing up to WISE using my affiliate link. The advantage for you having a WISE account would be if you have something interesting to sell to me, but you are not based in Singapore, you and I now have a convenient way to send and receive payment to conclude the sale. That is all for today's video. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope this video adds value to you and may you learn something new and useful from watching this. I look forward to reading your feedback in the comment section. So please feel free to leave me your comments and I will personally reply to you. If you like what you have watched today, please share with me your support by clicking the like, subscribe and bell notification icon. So, until we meet in my next video, this is Kairi Johari, better known as Pak Jofe, the Chris Collector from Singapore, snapping out. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.